Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your Daily Grip on God's Word. Great to be back with you. Hey, I want to thank Brian for leading us up through Hebrews. Wow, uh, powerful, powerful grips. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Joey, for continuing to um, shoulder the weekly grips, the daily grips that we're doing. I'm beyond grateful for you guys. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, last time I was with you, I just offered, um, love to hear your stories of what In His Grip means to you. We've got about, oh, 10 to 12 right now that you guys have submitted, and um, it's humbling to hear. But through no November and December, we want to start sharing these powerful testimonies, and I believe that your story by sharing what in his grip means to you, what getting a daily grip on the word means to you, God will use your story to impact, even if it's the one guy, it's all worth it. But I believe God will use your story to impact multi multitudes of other guys. So just set up your phone and just speak from your heart, no script, what in his grip means to you personally what getting a grip on the word means to you personally and what does it mean to be a part of the in his grip community just take one of those themes and just speak from your heart and fire it off to me and we will share that to uh, reach that one next guy okay today i get to take us through hebrews chapter 12 and let me uh, walk you through here's my title is keep running the race of faith. All right, so I'm going to dive into chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. And here is my G for getting a grip on the word. All right. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Verse 3. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Wow, here's my G. My R, uh, bear with me, it, I kind of append a longer one than normal. As a Christian, what is the race marked out for us? I have found that when I'm doing the Lord's work by serving someone, by engaging in one of our Inner Grip Life Groups, or by getting that daily grip on God's Word, I seem, or God seems, to keep me from sin. However, when I let my guard down, when I'm tired, the enemy appears to put on a full court press to try to take me out. Can you guys relate to that? It is amazing, and I, I can relate to Paul. I do what I don't want to do. When God makes a major impact in and through an experience that you have, maybe uses you to, to really draw somebody else close to you or you're part of an event that God just shows up big. Hours later, you can be just exhausted because you left everything out there on the field of life. And you're just praising God. Wow, Lord, look what you did here. Look what you did there. In a moment's time, I can let my guard down and the enemy knows it and will just throw or shoot the arrows to try to take me out. Guys, I'm learning that, that when there's a high impact of ministry or God uses you, stay on guard because the enemy can put that wedge in and um, we cannot allow that. So my implementation is when Satan is dangling the sweet apple of sedu seduction in front of me, I need to remind myself what Jesus did on the cross. And also remember what he did three days later as he rose out of that grave and defeated death. 
I need to keep encouraging that one man, especially the man in the mirror, to keep running the race, to keep swinging, to reach that one man that desperately needs a personal Savior in Jesus. And I need to also remind myself, I'm not alone. I have each of you to lean into as we build his kingdom here on earth. My brothers, there is nothing more important than being about our Father's business here on earth. My prayer is, Lord, build a hedge of protection around my head, around my heart, around my home, around my family, and around my friends. Keep the enemy at bay, and please, Lord, keep me in the race to keep reaching that one guy for you. Bring that one man along my path today, and I make myself available to you. Use me to point him toward you. Amen and amen. Guys, Hebrews is just, I don't know, it's its um, coming to life. It just rises up off the page. Uh, but also, I know that that theme of there is an enemy out there that just wants to take us out. And we can see it in the world that the enemy is really getting after um, the work. If it's through Israel or just through the internet or through whatever means he's using, uh, he is definitely putting out of. Uh, full court press to capture our hearts and our minds and we need to stay together to keep that unity and keep the enemy at bay let me close this out with a word of prayer heavenly father lord thank you for uh, the words penned here in hebrews even the first three chapters wow uh, lord let us keep our eyes fixed upon you and lord help let us keep serving you and let us keep being hungry for your word and doing life together with all um, the other guys that you're bringing into the Innescript community. What a blessing, God. I'm, I'm beyond grateful. I try not to take it for granted. I feel blessed uh, to be shepherding uh, what you've given us in this great ministry called Innescript. Lord, we love you, Jesus. We praise you. We seek you. And we pray all of this in your powerful name, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you guys. I will see you in the morning.